Well, this weekend marks the 65th anniversary of the United States dropping atomic bombs on Japan during World War II. It's the only time A-bombs have been used in a war and has had a lasting impact on our world. Well, Nick Paradise spoke to a Savannah native whose life has changed because of those bombs. See us tonight's Military Source Report. August 6th and 9th may not be days that live in infamy. Yet perhaps no event in World War II has had a more lasting impact than when President Harry Truman ordered two atomic bombs dropped on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We saw the world arm itself with nukes, sparking the Cold War and continuing today as combative countries like Iran and North Korea trumpet their nuclear capabilities. And we see it on a personal level in people like James McNear, a 19-year-old Marine stationed on Okinawa when the bombs fell. I didn't realize that at that time, I'm sure none of us did, that that our next objective was to be Japan proper. McNear never made it there. On August 15th, six days after Nagasaki was bombed, Japan surrendered. It was there throughout the war. Though he doesn't remember much immediate reaction within the ranks, it sunk in over time. It was just a horrendous thing to, yeah. to own the Japanese people. And there's uh, so many innocent people in Japan, just like there would be in, in our country. Historians estimate the atomic bombs killed more than 200,000 people. Whether it was the right thing to do, McNear can't say. He thinks of it as a necessary evil. We would have lost a lot of people, a lot of men and women, and uh, the Japanese would have lost a tremendous amount of people because it would have been do or die. McNear and his wife Faye imagine their lives and our world would be much different. Here we are here looking outside and it looks so peaceful and just thinking about the war now overseas and how it is over there, it would be the same way then as it is now. If we hadn't dropped the bomb, I really don't believe I would be here today. McNear and his unit served in China after the war ended. He nearly returned to combat again in the Korean War in the early 1950s. While he's now in his mid-80s and has been retired for nearly 20 years, he says he'd serve today if his country needs him. Nick Paradise, WJCL, Fox 28, the TheCoastalSource.com. McNear served in a machine gun unit in World War II and says he was very blessed to never be wounded.